I'm blown again. Ooh. Oh, my legs are sticking it together with sweat. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here, my name is Melissa or Missa. Welcome. Today we're sponsored by coffee because we need I did not sleep well last night. Period pain kept me up. It woke me up. It hurts. <laughs> you know? So coffee. Anyway, I dyed my hair blonde again. It's been a while since it's been all blonde and oh and then I got this amazing ponytail. It's uh, an easy lock so when I got it and look fantastic. I'll link it below if you're interested. I think it's very good quality. It matches colour wise. My hair is so slicked but like it's hard as nails with hairspray but I just wanted to have all my hair out my face because it's boiling. Alexa. What is the weather in Aloha today? With a high of 27 degrees and... It's going to be 27 degrees and I'm melting, but I really want to do a black smoky eye with my blonde hair. I love black smoky eyes with blonde hair. I think it's so lovely, but I want to keep it very small, very kind of wearable, but it is Saturday. So, like when I might be doing my errands later on, I'm going to look like I'm just ready for a night out. Anyway. Black smoky eye, I'm already primed my eyes with a bit of Revlon concealer and I already have my brows on because I hate doing brows, they upset me. I don't know if I want to do black and grey or if I want to do black brown. I think we'll do black brown because actually I think it'll go with like the warm blonde that I've got and I think I'll use my Lottie London Live My Best Life palette, I've not reached for it in a while and it is so good. Uh, so let's just begin. Yeah, it's just a lovely Saturday today and I thought I've got to go and do some errands like I've got to get cat litter. Uh, I'm going to reach for this brown. I've got to get cat litter. I've got to get toilet roll. You know, all the really glamorous jobs that you have to do as an adult. But I also thought I would have a Melissa date day. So once I've done all that, we'll see. I was thinking maybe just a nice walk and a picnic somewhere. I quite enjoy taking myself out on dates but I'm not going to drive very far because one of my fuel injectors is proper packing in and I'm not getting stuck like far away from my house. I'm filming by the way with natural light and I have my ring light on. I'll need to see when I go to edit it what the what it's kind of like because I can't really it's so bright in here and I can't really tell. I always start this kind of like not with the black because I feel like it can very much overpower very very quickly so if I start with the second darkest shade and then go into my black when I'm ready. Oh, See when I woke up today it was not so beautiful and bright and sunny and I was actually really glad. I was like oh thankfully it's not going to be a proper heat wave day today. Because, like, I don't mind it for myself so much, although it is quite hot. I'm in a top floor flat, and as you know, heat rises, and my goodness, my flat gets hot. But the wee cats, they're proper dying in this heat, so I was thinking, oh, they'll have a nice day, not so boiling. Nope. Sun's come out. Say la vie. I'm going to use this one next. I love this palette. I love this palette so much. I'm still like trying not to make this look too big. I want it to be wearable. When do I ever do wear? I do wearable but not usually when I'm filming. I always think oh it's too boring. No one's gonna actually want to see it. But then I wear wearable makeup most of the time. Like the vast majority of the time. I hope this palette's still available. I don't actually know if it is. Blend like a dream. And then I'll grab another fat fluffy brush and this second lightest shade. Just pay a bit more attention to where I'm pushing it. Like my eyeshadow to be the highest at the very centre of my eye. He said it gives me my more like rounded effect. I know I'm supposed to have a video up on my Cosmic Brushes palette today but I really didn't want to do big colourful dramatic makeup today because I do have to go out and about 
so that will be next, I promise. And I really wanted to do a black smoky eye with my new hair colour. You know, I need to put a new picture up on Tinder. Like, showing what I look like now. I'm just going to take oh, my MAC paint pot in. It's Fabstract. I love this with my whole heart. And this is going to be the base for my black. Even though it's, I could use a black base, but it's going to go over this brown really beautifully anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Cover my lid in this. I couldn't live without this now. I've used this for brows, obviously eyes, eyeliner, waterliner, uh, full freckles. Like, it's such a good multi-use product and I feel like the formula has definitely been improved on or maybe it's just this shade I don't know but like I used to have whatever the paint pot was that we all used as a primer and it was a lot drier than this and then I'll just take a random fluffy brush and just blend that in the crease a bit oh this is a nice random fluffy brush it's an Artitude Cosmetics one this could be cute as a brown smoky eye, but no, I want to do black. Shut up, Melissa. Just do what you wanted to do. Do black. And then I'll grab, I need a brush, another Artichid one, and the black from the palette. My favourite black is still ABH Noir, but this one is decent, especially over this, like, <gasps> moist base. It sticks very, very well. I'm just focusing that on the lid. See, that looks great in black over that base, even though that's not like the best black eyeshadow I have in my collection. One day I'll have my brushes organized, but today is not that day. I'm gonna dip into the black and the brown together and make a beautiful marriage of the two and then just blend it into my crease a little bit. I don't want to just put the straight black on there because this is just going to be easier to blend. I always get to this stage the black's working and I'm like should I add yellow just around the edges make it a bit more like mustard but then that's a whole that's a whole other kettle of fish. If I was going like out out tonight I'd probably put like a black shimmer on the lid just to make it more soulsly and night timey. That's starting to look a bit more blended. These shadows are so easy to work with. Okay, I'll work on that more when my base is on. I feel like I've got to a good level. I'm just gonna make sure I've got no fallout and then we'll move on to the base which is gonna be very minimal I think. Kind of hard to do minimal base when you've got like a more bold eye I always find but I'm going to do my best to keep it as minimal as possible. I'm going to start off with my baby, my favourite, my life, which is my Fenty, I just call it my SPF moisturiser. It's moisturiser with SPF or it's SPF with moisturiser. I love this because it's giving me a bit of sun protection. I mean, I know you're supposed to use like so much sun protection to actually get sun protection, but... I don't really see how it's possible when you're wearing makeup to put that much sun protection on. So it's a little bit that, but also it gives my skin this most gorgeous, like dewy finish and it like stays. I don't know if I want to put foundation on, that's the thing. I just turn her. Do you know what? I'm going to use my bougie one because I did a video recently. I feel like my camera's very off center. It was all very drugstore, very affordable, but I want to use this, my Dior one. I love this concealer. What was that red thing on my face? I just love this concealer. And sometimes I am going to use my bougier products on my channel. I'm just focusing, focusing that in the center, just one dip and not even using it all. This uh, concealer is oh, the Titties, and if you are in the market for a high-end concealer, would highly recommend this. Daniela is a Dior ho, and she like put it on me, and it was gorgeous. And then she let me have it. I was like, 
cheers bill obviously i'm spreading it out kind of all over but it's not the same as putting on like a bunch of foundation in my opinion it's just evened everything out got big hair there just put it back I just put it back get off it just evened everything out and just made everything just a little bit nicer and then I will take a tiny splooge of a different so this is my Huda one just for everyone who want honestly this is a new favorite just where I get my hyper pigmentation mustache and then at that point underneath my eyes because I've got bugs under my eyes what can you do though? Just get plastic surgery. I really don't want plastic surgery. At the same time, I really do want plastic surgery. I don't even want plastic surgery. See what they can do with fillers now and just like a needle. But at the same time, I'm like, I like being natural. I've had Botox once in what, like 2018? And I did like it, I must say. But, yeah, I think there's something quite nice about not having any work done. And there's something really nice about having work done each to their own you know there we go very natural but still just looks better than when I started obviously I'm just gonna throw some fake freckles on and then I'll be back don't need to video it. I've done it a million times it's really boring to watch it's like watching someone put their brows on doing freckles so two seconds I very quickly powdered as well because it was really boring to watch just a bit of my Huda a glowish one I love it so much and then I'm gonna use my MUA bronzed because I also love this very much and it's very inexpensive I'm still honestly trying to not put too much makeup on my base anyway obviously my eyes are a little more dramatic but I just kind of want a hint of everything else on my skin I don't want to put a whole heap on. I think I've decided I'm going to drive to St Andrews and get some fish and chips and just have a nice time on my own. I love fish and chips in this weather. It's also a very nice drive to St Andrews and the fish and chips are really good so I think I'll do that as my wee date once I've done my errands. So yeah, it's just a hint of colour and I might as well use my Catrice Contour Kit just for a pinch. I'm like tapping most of it off on my hand. I just don't think I need a lot but I will put a good amount under my lip. Make it look like I've had filler. And I am enjoying for the time being, nose contour. I'm gonna mix those two. I just think I've kinda got it down with my freckles as like a little bit of nose contour and then a tiny bit of powder contour on top. I feel like I've really learned how to do my nose a bit better. And that's that, and then blush. Oh, I think something peachy yeah I'll use my EX1 in pretty in peach again just a little dip dab I don't want too much and I think I'm gonna try the highlighter in this palette I got from W7 via B&M and see what I think because it's supposed to be like a cookie dupe isn't it so I don't want too much though my skin's already got a nice glow with the Huda powder that's really pretty honestly people here just like stand across the street from each other and yell across the street or from windows and yell like late at night or from cars and I'm like have some decorum please I'm trying to sleep that's pretty actually set and spray I'm gonna use my beloved Makeup Revolution Huda Dupe one. And plenty of it because the moisture just feels nice. 
That really is like a top 10 setting spray in my collection. I put black in my waterline and my tight line. Could use brown. I like the drama of the black. And I want my lower lash line to match but also not be big at all. Like I don't want it dramatic. So I'm gonna just take the black and the brown on this like flat brush Morphe M410. And just very carefully put it along the lower lash line. And I will blend it out but sometimes I think my lower lash line I make it too thick. And I'm tipping my head forward because I don't want fallout on my base. Sometimes I make it a wee bit thick and it kind of overtakes the whole look so I just want it really quite tight to the lash line. And then just a little pointy under eye brush and I think this more medium brown mostly. Like that and then one final clean brush and this lightest shade which is matte and just pop that all the way around I could make it bigger and more dramatic I just don't feel like I need to I'm going to throw on lashes probably my Eyler 117s and then we will do a lip and we'll be done okay lashes are on this one I've put on slightly further out than this one which is annoying me but I'm not taking it off and doing it again and I had a pasta break because that is my life. I'm going to use Melt, what are you called, Skin Toint because I just want to do a pale nude lip, maybe even just gloss, I don't know but I need to outline a little bit just to get some definition and then I can overline as well a little bit. Mm. I'll just fill, fill in a little bit with that. Just kind of take down the pink of my own lips. I don't want too much colour from it. I more just want the lips to fade into my face. But it's still, I have to like line my lips. I feel like if I don't, they just kind of look obviously a lot smaller. But I mean, they're not very symmetrical natural either. Not that I ever get them symmetrical when I put stuff on. Um, I'll just use a tiny bit of Maybelline Tease. Just a wee smidge. Kind of spread out. Ah, oh, there we go. That's it. I like that lip. I feel like it just kind of fades in everything and isn't making a statement so that the eyes can make a statement. Okay, there we have it. That is my... I mean, the skin is very natural to be fair like it's not got a lot of makeup on it at all if I zoom you right in like it's not cakey or heavy at all but it still looks like really perfected and nice I think and uh, oh now it's gonna yellow up because I'm so zoomed in I feel like the skin just looks nice and light and happy and glowy but not too much and then the eyes are like mmm she's got a set and a better doesn't she and that's that that's my look for my day date I'm gonna go and get dressed then go for a nice drive fish and chips in a few hours some errands just spend the day with myself maybe finish off at the cinema I haven't decided because it's nice and cool and air-conditioned in there might get a wee slush puppy or something you know what I mean? We treat. It's only four ninety nine at the view as well, which is so good. But anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy taking myself on a date, and this is the makeup that I've done for it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I used like quite a lot more expensive products, but I did do that affordable video recently, and I can keep doing super affordable videos. But sometimes I do just like a little bit of my high end stuff that I've like gotten over the last few years. So yeah. Okay, well that's going to be all for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Do you like me being blonde again? Tell me. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh no, I prefer you brown or oh no, go back to pink. It's all personal preference in it. Anyway, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to become a sausage, aka a Patreon, the link is down below. It's a really good time. We've got a Telegram chat, Facebook group, all that kind of stuff. I do lives on there sometimes three times a week, sometimes once a week. It's a great time and uh, I'm going to piss off.
have a lovely day and I hope we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! See you.